Welcome on in, everybody. So, day three of the Fresh Start servers. All, all the players are flagged up, man. Maybe not everybody, but oh my god, everywhere I went today, again, just PvP everywhere. And I feel like it's going to be that way for at least a couple weeks as everybody continues leveling up and stuff like that. And especially with this weekend coming, that'll be exciting. There's going to be a lot more people jumping in to level up, so a fresh new wave of low-level PvP for you guys. Anyway... So, as you guys know from my last couple episodes, I put together a pretty boss low-level PvP build that, uh, as you can see, has really good damage, but today I made it to level 45 and I made some really nice upgrades to this build, especially getting those 500 gear score crafted weapons that you can wield at level 30 and 35. And uh, today's video is going to go over how I actually got those weapons, so if you guys want to follow this guide, and keep yourself as geared up for PvP as possible while you level, you can. Um, but yeah, the 60s. Oh, there's so many people level 60 already. It's scary out there. At least I can do some damage to them, but man, I am so squishy with this glass cannon setup. So anyway, I went at the beginning of the day and I knocked out 100 weaponsmithing. I was literally two crafts away from finishing it off. So I just finished off the uh, couple great swords that I had to do. Great sword being the best item to craft if you want to level those crafts. Of course, the first time you craft something, you get a ton of additional XP. And then I went out here to cut some trees. And of course, I run into another player. End up getting the kill on him and then come back inside with the materials I needed to make my tier steel rapier. Now, I didn't farm all of these materials. I actually bought a lot of them from the trading post. So it cost me about 1,000 gold for this rapier, which is a crazy good price. And I guess the only downside is that you do need 100 weaponsmithing to make it yourself. But other people can make these and sell them too. So check the trading post, guys. You might find some crazy good 500 gear score weapons on there. Um, and of course, I, I had to go level my engineering afterwards. So I just put together all the different tools for steel that I could, getting that bonus XP from it. And, well, I really didn't want to grind for the musket, so I bought the materials I needed to level my engineering. Basically just bought steel bars and made uh, all the stuff that I could, followed by some blunder buses. And then afterwards, I went and just bought everything I needed for the musket. And that was it. 100 engineering done. The musket is made. And we're sitting at level 36 with two 500 gear score weapons. I know this musket has kind of crappy perks, but... For its gear score, it is going to outperform anything else that we have access to right now, and the rapier actually has great perks on it. Now, I'll go over the full build at the end of this video if you guys want to see, and in that uh, bit of a go-over, I'll talk about where you get all of the different items for this build. So if you missed it in this first little bit, that's okay. Um, you'll see it there. And without further ado, of course, we got some PvP for you guys. After going out there and getting my nice new weapons, I had to go give them a nice test run, and... Right off the bat, I go to this quest hub here where everybody's doing the main story quest, and oh my god, there is, there's a lot of skirmishing going on here. We took down one green player, and uh, a friendly ends up showing up, and he ends up getting killed by this other green player, but we get a good combo on him, hit him with the rifle to finish him off, and then I go into the thing and I do my quest, but I do manage to get the res on the friendly player. After finishing my quest inside that building there, I come back outside and look at that. Some more green players to fight. This guy starts shooting at me with his bow. The other guy's shooting at me with the musket. I try to get the repost there. Unfortunately, I'm a little late, but it does land on the second attack. I go for the flesh through, and he actually, I think, dodges that flesh. So he's quite low health, but I end up missing um, that big hit at the end there. And uh, these guys are just keeping the pressure on me, but... One thing I noticed right away, these 500 gear score weapons, I can actually hurt players who are higher level than me. We can do some decent damage, so we're not so outgunned, which is great, but if, if uh, just from my experience playing, guys, if you come by a level 65 that has 700 gear score stuff, you're in big trouble. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you're not 700 gear score as well, it is, it is tough, but... We didn't come by a whole bunch of those today. I only ran into one person where I could actually see the weapon they were wielding and get a 710 sword. Anyway, I keep uh, keep on doing the quests here. I'm just turning them in and these green players are now hunting me because I have been hunting them back. They jump on top of me. I manage to get around the corner, heal up. I throw the trap down. Both of them see the trap and avoid it right away. Good on them, but I land a huge shot on the healer there with my musket. I try to close that gap, go in with the rape here, but I'm taking tons of pressure from that enemy bow player, and I end up missing both my shots. He dodges one, I miss the other, and um, 
Yeah, nasty position there. I'm forced to go for the flesh to go through the archer player. This is a good move because it just forces the turnaround and it actually manages to get me the space I need to escape. And he drops down here. He ends up waiting out my riposte. That's not good. And I'm forced to blow my stamina to dodge the big combo that he's throwing out there. So I right away throw the trap down so that I have uh, a little bit of something to work with to get that stam back. But the range damage from these guys is just too much. I do manage to survive and back it up. And it looks like another friendly player has come in here um, around my level. And we're just going to do our best to take these guys down. I land the trap at a distance. Such a good throw. Jump on top of the healer. Huge damage. And I managed to take him down. Unfortunately, the other uh, player here killed the friendly very quickly. And then he goes to mine ore. I think, like me, he just had the nameplate disappear. There's so many players running by. Uh, we just honestly missed each other and um this guy ends up coming out i don't know if it's the same guy or not but another friendly ends up running in as i open up on this guy and we managed to just quickly take him down and well after all that i just continued on my way and kept questing and you level up really fast from the quest now so i'm not too surprised that people are at 65 already um Lots of PvP though, just tons of people flagged up. Everywhere I went, I kept running into fights. I think around 30-ish different fights today. Um, a few of them against the same person because they came back for another round or I came back or something like that. And this guy actually came back for round two and I get a good repost there right into the power shot. And well, just kept questing, kept leveling. Here I got to level 44 and I did some of the PvP quests because I thought maybe I'll get some of that faction armor but after put, turning these quests in, I looked at the vendor and the faction armor is actually not much better. And some of it isn't better at all than just the random gear that I've been finding. So at least for early game, I think all that really matters is those weapons and getting a couple good pieces of jewelry. And I'll worry about getting good armor once I'm much closer to 65 or at 65 myself. All right, guys, let's take a look at that build. We'll start off with the attribute points. We'll go pretty quick here. You can see I've got 33 in constitution. I would recommend at least 25. I'm a very glass cannon build. At the minimum, I would put 25. Um, at this stage, level 30 to 40, you could start looking at 50 constitution as well. If you want to go chunkier, you really can. It's totally up to the user. Intelligence, I like going for 150 for that elemental damage and that light and heavy attack elemental damage. If we have weapons that have an elemental gem, this is a huge deal. Even though we get better scaling from dexterity, this 10% and 10% damage is going to give us so much more than the dexterity will at this stage. So I would recommend at this point going for 150 and then dumping the rest in dex. Um, if you don't have any elemental gems, just go for 50 in intel and then put everything else in dexterity. For the weapon masteries, not a ton has changed since the last build update. Um, I'm almost done level 20 on the musket. The last perk I'm looking for here is empowering headshot. If you guys are going through and you're just leveling up your musket yourself, start off by getting your power shot, your powder burn, and then of course your traps, and then fill out your traps passive, go for your tactical reload, your hustle, and fill out this tree until you can get that final lethal combo passive. After that, you just work on filling out the rest of the passives that I have here, and of course that empowering headshot that I don't have quite yet. For the rapiers, kind of the same deal. Make sure you unlock all your abilities right away. Fill out your flesh and your evade as soon as possible. And then go for momentum as soon as you can too. And then after that, just grab all these passives that I have as well. And my rapier is 17 out of 20. So the last three points will be finished. Uh, finishing off repost here. And that's it. Okay, so let's take a look at that gear and talk about it a little bit. This is the level 30 and level 35 crafted 500 gear score weapons you can make all of the different weapons in 500 gear score like this There's uh, a whole bunch of different ones you can choose from these are the two that I chose You don't have to pick the same ones that I did I like the tear steel a lot because the other rapier has a gem on it and I don't really have a lot of good access to gems um, But come to think of it since I have the 150 Intel maybe going for the other one with the gem would be a good idea That being said sundering repost is a huge rend and people take a ton of damage when I hit them with it so this is by no means a bad option at all. And then the Mana Shot Musket, out of the two I can make, this is the best one because it has a gem. Yeah, the musket choices are pretty brutal, but the fact that they're 500 gear score and you can get these guys at level 30 and 35, there are no other weapons that are even close to as strong as this. So even though their perks kind of suck, um, or the musket perks kind of suck, this is still the best weapon we have access to right now. 
Now taking a look at the jewelry, the amulet I just purchased from the trading post. I would recommend you guys scour the trading post to see if there's any good gear for a decent price on there. Um, definitely the way to go. And if you don't have this amulet here, well, the one that you got very early on from your quests in Windsward will work just fine. Nine constitution, 3.6 health. You should all have access to this unless you deconned it already. Um, but yeah, this is my upgrade at the moment, just giving a lot more base stat, and that Purify is kind of useful. It's pretty much just the only one I could find. The Stonehewn Ring is the ring upgrade that we went for uh, after having the Soul Warden Ring. So the Soul Warden we get from questing. This guy here, you get to level 9 on your Seasons Pass, and then once you've hit level 9 on the Seasons Pass, you get your first basic expedition chest. This will give you a bunch of different materia. You can go to the crafting station, the outfitting station, scroll down to where the jewelry is, and with that materia, you can make yourself two really useful pieces of gear for this stage of the game. Number one, that ring, the hardy perk, so valuable, and the constitution, super valuable too. And it also has a gem on it, which is something that's kind of valuable at this stage as well. And then number two, I made the Masquerade Mask, giving intelligence and refreshing. This is just a slightly better version than if I went and purchased the uh, the faction hat that gives health instead of refreshing. So this is really good for my build. Absolutely perfect. And then for the earring at level 35, you won't be able to wield an earring. But once you get to 40, you will. I got one with Healthy Toast, which is an awesome early game healing perk. Um, and again, I just purchased this from the trading post. Do your best to see what you can find, guys. See what you get as drops. Um, but at this early stage, there isn't really any earring that we can go hunt right now. There will be for the next episode. And then the armor. We talked about the Masquerade Mask. You make this with the Materia. And then the rest of my gear here, I just got as drops. And honestly, with the armor, you could go and get the Faction Vendor gear as well. But as you can see, like, this stuff is... Some of it is better than the Faction Vendor gear. And most of it is on par with the Faction Vendor gear. I think Refreshing is a super valuable early game perk. So I have at least two of that, which is nice. Um, but health is always a good way to go. On the legs, I stuck with my Shirking Energy legs. I might replace these soon, seeing as uh, the amount of attribute points I get is starting to be pretty slim compared to my other pieces of gear. And there you go. For the gems, guys, on the weapons, I would recommend if you have the 150 Intel, definitely go for Elemental Gems. If not, go for Opals of the highest quality that you can find um, and afford, I guess. And then for your armor, I would recommend going for either full physical resist or full magical resist or a mix of the two. I think just having varied resists right now is probably better. That being said though, if you really hate getting shot up by the rangers, you could do something like stacking thrust and fire resist, and that'll help mitigate most of incoming range damage for you. Um, that's, that's the other option I personally, I think, would go for. If I had access to gems, I, I just don't right now, and I don't want to spend the money on these. They're crazy expensive to buy cut gems, so... Not necessary that you guys get them. You'll likely be replacing this armor really soon anyway. And then, of course, guys, for your consumables, you want to have the best that you have access to. I have a Healthy Toast potion, so I can now add... Or a Healthy Toast earring, so I can now add mana potions to this build. And there you go, guys. That is all the changes to the build so far. Now, I know getting supplies can be kind of tricky on the Fresh Start servers, especially if you want to get the best quality that you have access to for your level. My best tip would be to get at least 50 Arcana. It's not hard to level up, and uh, it allows you to make at least the Tier 3 potions and regens for yourself. That being said, you could always buy them yourself too. I haven't been really making many or buying many potions, and I haven't really been running out that much. I did run out of regens today, but that was it. Um, so you do get quite a bit as you level up in quest anyway. So yeah, if you want to do a lot of PvP, unfortunately, you probably have to buy or grind that stuff out. And there you go. That's all I got for you today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a bit of an update on the build. I hope this helps you guys for just your own gearing up in PvP because the whole idea behind these guides is to make it as easy as possible for people to just get into that early game PvP. It is something that is really special in that game, this game. I've been playing live on Twitch. If you guys want to catch that, there's a link down below. And there is a link below to a written guide for this kind of guide here. Um, the first and second episode I put into one. So you guys can check that out too if you want. Have a good one, everybody. And I'll see you next time.